Hey everybody, Jeff Schneider here, and in today's video, I'm not gonna be playing any more flute. But this video is gonna be a little bit strange. I thought of this crazy idea to teach music through a different uh, vessel, if you will. Um, in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna be dropping some truth bombs via fortune cookies. Here we go. I'm gonna eat half, and then I'm gonna read the fortune, and I'll tell you how it relates to music, and hopefully you'll learn something. Okay, the fortune is. By the way, I just wanna mention, I just came out with Sick Chords Volume One. It's a collection of hundreds of piano voicings for seventh chords, major seven, dominant seven, minor seven. So if you guys are playing jazz, R&B, neo soul, gospel, blues, funk, anything like that, you wanna get the Glasper harmony down, the Corey Henry chords together. This is like the best reference that I've ever come across for that kind of work. And there's also a video included where I explain how to use the, the voicings and how to go about reharmonizing and composing and practicing and whatnot. So anyway, back to the cookies. Okay, the fortune is, before the beginning of great brilliance, there must be chaos. Well, the first thing I think of when I, when I read that is, with becoming brilliant at music, when becoming a master at music, there's gonna be many times where things just feel chaotic. Sometimes that chaos can come in the form of a slump, which is something that happens to a lot of the musicians I know, including myself. I remember there was a time, I think it was when I was at the conservatory and I was practicing all the time. Um, you know, I felt like I should have been getting better, but I wasn't. And it, it really felt chaotic because I was working so hard and then wasn't getting anywhere. But one of my teachers said, you know, listen, you just gotta stick with it, which is simple advice, but it's what you need to hear in times like those. So um, I'm not saying I'm a master right now or that I'm brilliant at music, but I certainly feel like things are less chaotic in terms of my approach to music and how, uh, you know, the, the, the ability that I have now and, and how I'm able to express myself musically. So I think this has some, uh, some truth to it. Before the beginning of great brilliance, there must be chaos. Here we go. Change your thoughts and you change the world. My immediate reaction to this has to do with ear training. I know, maybe not where you expected me to go with that one. But when I hear change your thoughts, what that makes me think of is um, change, the, ch change what you hear. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna skip this one. It's not going anywhere. I didn't say all of them were gonna be good guys, but we're gonna do one more and then I'm gonna call it quits for my fortune telling. I'm not even gonna eat the other half of that fortune because it was so bad. Okay, I'm gonna ruin my dinner. I told you this was gonna be weird. The fortune is, education is not filling a bucket, but lighting a fire. That really means a lot to me as a teacher teaching music. One of the things that I've always uh, tried to do when giving lessons one-on-one -on -one or teaching classes or even just, you know, doing these YouTube videos is, yes, I wanna like impart my knowledge, but mostly I wanna like try to get everybody to play as, as good as they can by, by inspiring, um, not just by teaching uh, information and, and, and musical theory and whatever, but rather focusing on at least my approach on inspiring people to get better. Uh, so that I try to do that with the way that I teach, like the way that I talk to my students and and also with the music that I play and the way that I play. Uh, you know, I really think that inspiration is the best route to um, to education, which I think is, is exactly what this means. So um, hopefully some of the stuff that I've uh, delivered to you guys over the years has lit a fire for you to um, be inspired and, and make better music and, and wanna learn more about how to make better music. And if that's the case, then, then I'm happy. All right, I'm gonna eat the rest of that cookie because I thought that was, that was pretty decent. And I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead here. I feel like we got two out of three. Okay, that's it. I know it was a weird one, but I'm gonna stop there and uh, let you get back to your day. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.